So my name is David Bortz and my name is Mark Hofer and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Applied Mathematics at CU Boulder. So mathematics is the language of the universe and applied mathematics is the practice of using math to understand the world. The mathematicians of old were actually applied mathematicians. Uh, Isaac Newton developed calculus to describe the motion of bodies both earthly and celestial. Carl Friedrich Gauss, the prince of mathematicians, developed the method of least squares in 1795 in order to describe where an asteroid would be. The fast Fourier transform, which he also developed, or the FFT as, as it is known now, is one of the most important numerical algorithms of our lifetime. It underpins a substantial portion of our digital information technology. The least squares method and the FFT are just two examples of the modern analytical, computational, and statistical methods that are required to solve today's physical, biological, and social science problems, as well as problems in business and finance. As an applied mathematics major, you not only learn these techniques, you actually get to use them. For example, Applied mathematics majors have the opportunity to work in research groups with faculty, postdocs, and other graduate students on active research questions. You might be wondering, what kind of research do applied mathematicians do? Well, we actually do all different kinds. As an example, we develop computational methods to understand how fluids flow. This will help us to understand how climate change works. It helps us to understand and design better airplanes and even helps us to understand how fluid pumps through our hearts. We develop mathematical models of biological processes spanning from viruses like Ebola and Zika and how they spread through the population to how cells group together and close a wound. We also use advanced methods to study large data sets generated in our modern scientific enterprises, including even Twitter. We are the statistical and mathematical and computational underpinnings of the big data revolution. We derive model equations that describe wave phenomena on, with many different sizes. From the planetary scale and understanding magnetic dynamos to tsunamis that propagate on the ocean, all the way down to laser light at the nanoscale. In my group, undergraduates would be part of a research team of other graduate students and postdocs, other mathematicians. But more importantly, as a part of that team, we have biologists, we have biochemists, ecologists, and even physicians, depending upon the particular research project. For example, we study how bacteria clump together to clean water. We study how communities of cells, via biochemical signaling and physical signaling, tell each other to migrate toward a wound and close it and heal yourself. We even study how invasive pests in a wave propagating from one side of the country to the other can be stopped. In my laboratory, undergraduate students get the opportunity to do research on nonlinear wave phenomena. Students will develop the mathematics of and do experiments on corn syrup. You might be wondering, corn syrup? Well, actually, the waves that we observe in corn syrup uh, apply to other systems, many other systems, like superfluids, laser light, the atmosphere. And by studying these waves in the controlled environment of a laboratory, we can actually infer properties of the waves in these other more complicated systems. But it's really because of the mathematics that we can make these broad connections. Many incoming undergraduates do not understand what an applied math major is, so I am very glad that you are listening to this particular video. Applied mathematics is a very flexible major with a diverse set of options. In addition to the core courses in calculus, differential equations, linear algebra, students get to develop a suite of coursework focused on their technical area of interest. And these interests can include many different areas, such as all branches of engineering, computer science, physics, chemistry, biology, economics, and statistics. Again, we are 
applying mathematics to real-world problems. If you become an applied math major, you will take courses in partial differential equations, dynamical systems, and computational methods. In these courses, you will learn the patterns of wave propagation, heat transfer. You will even understand and be able to develop uh, algorithms on a computer, be able to solve very complicated mathematical problems efficiently and accurately on that computer. Many of our students find that an applied mathematics minor or double major enhances other majors in the College of Engineering. Modeling, computation, and statistics, these form the foundations of our digital, data-centric, and complex world. Because applied mathematicians learn the universal language of mathematics, they get the keys to understanding the underpinnings of all sciences.